Hi there, I'm Black Bright, still wearing my dark glasses. My eye is still bloodshot, doesn't look very attractive. I'm very vain, so I'm not letting you see my eyes today. Hopefully within a couple of days, I can take them off and you can see my pretty eyes. Anyway, what am I talking about today? I am talking about this gentrification. Um, there was rumours about Grenfell Tower being a part of that. And now last week I um, did that video on Hoxton, you know, where it's being taken over by billionaires and all of those occupants in um, affordable housing are going to be shipped out and moved out of the area to make, race for, make way for billionaires. Well, in Tottenham, they've got a few leisure centres. I think there's only a couple left. And I got an email that said... 399 Tottenham committees an urgent appeal for community to defend centre from gentrification. On Thursday the 16th of January, 399 Tottenham, also known as New Chances, one of Tottenham's last remaining community centres, was unlawfully repossessed by several security forces. I don't know if you remember, um, there was they tried to repossess that, um, that club in Stonebridge, Bridge Park, that was it. But I tell you something, I don't think they got away with it. There was a lot of support, everybody got together, and I don't think they were able to do it. But I, I think that those people, they did have some kind of lease or some kind of document, which meant they were the legal owners, and they tried to take that building from under their feet. Well, this is a bit different, so, but it's still unlawfully repossessed. Um, so, we have the, the Tottenham Leisure Centre that I know is where Fat Man plays on a Friday night and it is packed. That might be the next target, I don't know. Um, so, whilst management was asleep, several vans of officers barged into the building at around 4 a.m. and forcibly removed them from the building. Enforcement officers and police arrived with drones and dogs and tasers and brutally forced people out of the centre. Can you imagine? It's like a raid. I mean, don't you have the courtesy to tell people that you're going to reclaim the property? Or did they send out that notice but management didn't inform the people who were hiring the place? Because obviously, if people were there at 4 a.m. in the morning, they'd probably pay to get in, and then they're shipped out. And brutally, and brutally apparently, brought, brutally um, forced people out of the centre. This unlawful upheaval has caused terror and disruption on the community. And those who use the centre with legitimate events and programmes being cancelled and an unquantifiable amount of personal property withheld without prior notice. So not only have they barged into the property, they've seized everything in the property. This is the largest multi-ethnic community centre in Tottenham where it has been an important hub for the community as a place of worship, community functions and events. This enforcement is a direct attack on the diverse community of Tottenham. 399 Tottenham Management Committee are calling on the people of Tottenham and the wider black community to protect and preserve our centre against gentrification, which has no benefit to the people of the community. One of the main licensees and occupants of 399 Tottenham Community Centre said the building is currently under attack by the previous trustees and property developers who want to sell our community centre. And like I said, it's just like the Hoxton settlement. These rich guys are just taking over everything. And it's just because they can. This racist attack on the ethnic minorities who are using the trust property for worship and community activities has resulted in unlawful eviction. The court hearing is on the 28th of January 2020. It hasn't said where it's taking place. 
with um, Bridge Park, they actually told people to go to the courtroom. But these people, unless you attended, they had um, a lot of people um, attending yesterday, Sunday, the 19th. And unless you were there, I guess you won't know where it's being held, which court is going to be held at. But if you know, please put it in the um, in the description below. There, the theft and fraud they have inflicted on the trust for over 15 years will be exposed, and the rightful trustees and beneficiaries beneficiaries of the trust will put irrefutable evidence before the court. So it looks like that previous trustees are trying to claim that they um, have rights over the building when they don't. That's my interpretation. And I don't know what they've done, whether they've defrauded documents. I don't know what's going on. In the meanwhile, we are preparing, this is 399 Management Committee, uh, to submit an application to remove the illegal presence. The court system is always in favour of those with privilege. So we're going to have a battle. This malicious and forceful attack has made many people and community organisations homeless, including a school and four churches. I think when they mean homeless, I don't, I don't know if people were living in there, but I would think it means that people can't hold their church services there anymore and they can't have any more functions. Um, the people who were occupying the property were Footsteps Academy, the Holy Kubitic Church, the Ministerio Camino de Vida, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and the Poland Church of London. So it looked like five churches were in there plus an academy. Following this unlawful possession, we, 399 Tottenham Committee, were calling on the whole of the community to join us in a peaceful gathering. And that was, like I said, yesterday at 12 p.m. in Tottenham. They said, we must unravel this injustice. United we stand. And it really isn't good. It really isn't good. I tell you something. It's going to be a war between the rich and the poor. I saw something today that said there's not going to be any middle class. They're going to force people one end of the spectrum to the other. And I said this in previous videos. If you're not owning, you're going to be bought out or you're going to be pushed out. If you're not owning these buildings, if you are, if you are beholden to anyone for any particular reason, from mortgage to rent, whatever it is, we're vulnerable. The whole are we? So this is just the start. You know, they don't want white pe they don't want black people or any immigrants in London. They want that to be the creme de la creme. And slowly but surely the billionaires are coming in and buying out people. And there's nothing that anyone can do about it. With um, the Tottenham Centre, if there is fraud going on and that kind of stuff, well, the thing is, if the people doing the fraud, especially when they're rich, they're banking on the people who are fighting and um, not to have the funds to carry it through. But you never know. You get one of these no win, no fee, and you get a good solicitor who's willing to take it on and who can see the deception it might be worth a case taking on. So that's all I wanted to share with you today, peeps. Bye-bye.